Hey, it's Denise from LumaHead.com and on this video I'm going to show you how to do the diagonal stitch. It's going on the left and I'm going to show you how to do this pattern whether you're knitting in the round to make a hat or a purse or how to do like I did which is a flat panel in case you want to make a dishcloth or an afghan square. Okay so we're going to start working on row one and row one calls for four knits and two stitches. This pattern is worked over a six stitch multiple. Okay. And our first row, like I said, is, is four knits and two purls. If you're going to do a flat panel, um, I'm putting two extra stitches on each edge in order to even out my stitches so I can have a nice clean um, look and a nice square um, uh, fabric. So I, I have that one turning peg and that extra stitch. You don't need to do this if you're working uh, in the round. In other words, if you're making a hat or a purse, you don't have to worry about these edges, okay? So I'm doing that first edge, that first, and I'm going to knit. I'm going to use a U-wrap only because um, the only two that show up nicely is the true stitch, the true knit stitch, or the U-wrap. And the true knit stitch to me is more work than I want to put in because the U-wrap gives me just as nice and defined uh, knit stitch with less work. So the U-wrap, of course, you're, you're wrapping, halfway wrapping your peg and you knit off and that's a U-wrap stitch. And uh, you're going to do four of those, right? So two, three... and four and then your next two pegs are pearls okay and you keep doing that stitch that knit four purl two for four rows and that exact instruction works great if you're working in the round if you're making a hat or a purse but if you're working a flat stitch well that pattern works a little different right because here we are with our four knit stitches and our first and our two purls. And if I'm doing them from left to right, that's exactly what I'm doing, right? But when I turn around, this pattern changes, correct? Right? It's not exactly the same. Here we are at the end of row one, and I'm going to do my edges, right? We knit those last two, in my case, one if you want it, in your case, whichever one you prefer. And then I'm going to, of course, slip this stitch because I want my edges to be nice. So slip stitch means to um, not knit that one, to go to the next one. And since this is an edge, I'm going to go ahead and knit it. And, of course, I'm not doing this if I'm knitting in the round. And now I'm here. Now I'm heading in the opposite direction. And remember that when we went from left to right, we were doing knit four, purl two, but now we're coming um, from right to left. And so we have to reverse that pattern now. And that's how you read um, these um, patterns when you're doing a flat panel. So now, instead of knitting four and purl two, I'm going to purl two and knit four. So again, for rows one through four, it's knit four, purl two. Okay, so finish your four rows and come back for the, your next four rows. Okay, so now we're doing the next four rows, which are five, six, seven, and eight. For the next four rows, we're going to knit two, purl two. And this part of the pattern, it's gonna be the same whether you're working in the round 
or whether you're doing a flat panel, right? You're going to do the same thing. You're going to knit two, purl two. And the only thing I want you guys to pay attention to, right? You did your knit two. Here are the purl two. Another knit two. Sorry, got stuck there. Another knit two, right? And some people just come to the next one and they think they're going to purl two here, right? Because you knit two, purl two, knit two, purl two, knit two. This should be a purl two also, right? It is not. Your stitch pattern is in a multiple of six. Knit two, purl two, knit two. When you get to this next one here, you're just starting the pattern all over again. This same pattern, you're starting it again. So you're going to, again, knit two, purl two, knit two. Knit two, purl two, knit two. Okay? Keep doing this same pattern, and you're going to do this for four rows, which are, which are rows five through eight. So finish that pattern, and come back for your last set of rows. Okay, so the last four rows of this pattern is going to be, you're going to purl four and knit two. Okay, so here's the first four where I'm going to purl. And remember that I'm going from left to right. And with the flat panel, when you are on your return, you're going to reverse this instruction of um, purl four and then knit two, right? I'm going from left to right. So if you're coming from right to left, you're going to knit two, purl four. Doesn't apply if you're going in the round. If you're doing a hat or a purse, every row, is going to be the same because you're always knitting in the same direction. So for rows 9, 10, 11, and 12, you're doing purl 4, knit 2. And just a few things before we ended here is I did want to tell you guys that my cast on is just a regular E-wrap cast on and the reason my edges look nice and clean instead of really crazy is because I did tighten them and in the description I'll give you a link to that video um, to tighten those edges and again this is um, a multiple of six stitches with two edges when we're doing flat panel and if you go to uh, the post on my website you'll see the pattern there and we just did what is a actually what's a left diagonal stitch if you want to see the pattern for the right diagonal stitch again go to this description and you will see a link to this pattern so um, I hope you like this stitch and remember that I try to do uh, a stitch a week. I call it the Sunday stitch, but it's usually not on, not done on a Sunday. It's actually usually done on Saturday, but I call it the Sunday stitch because it'll be there by Sunday. So I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.